Galway were out for revenge after last year's heartbreaking final defeat to Kilkenny and contained seven of the players beaten by a late goal in 2008. Most of the Kilkenny minors from last year have moved on and manager Richie Mulrooney was only able to call on four of the players from last year's final. Well, the game started with a score in the opening 30 seconds and it was the favourites who got it. Straight from the throw-in, David Glennon got free and then picked out Donny Fox. He in turn left his marker on the turf before scoring the opening point of the game. The Kenny, though, were soon level and took the lead for the first time of the final as midfielder Cahill Kenny scored on the run from distance. But Galway levelled to Jason Grealis and then scored the opening goal. Ronan Badger got clear but then fell over the Kenny keeper, John Power. But Richie Commons was alert to the breaking ball. Galway now three points up and a smart finish by the Galway captain. Kenny though responded and a smart finish of their own by Martin Gaffney. And at that stage, the Cats led by a point. But Kilkenny didn't score for the rest of the half. Niall Burke scored four points and this Cummins goal in injury time put Galway seven up at the half-time break. Any thoughts of a runaway win for Galway were quickly cast aside as Kilkenny hit back with two early second half points and then a goal by Killian Buckley put the margin to two. Kilkenny were on top now on corner forward and captain Canis Maher pointed to cut the gap to just a single point. Galway were looking a little shaky, especially as leading scorer Niall Burke failed to score in the second half. Responsibility for free-taking was handed over to 16-year-old Shane Maloney, and he scored two wonderful points from long-distance frees to put Galway right back on track. David Glennon scored a point, and substitute Ty Horan got another to call a halt to Kenny's attempt at a comeback. Galway's eighth minor title, and the first since 2005. On the scoreline, Galway 2-15, Kilkenny 2-11 and the presentation of the Irish Press Cup to Captain Richie Cummins.